Welcome, friends. Welcome to the test kitchen where we test beers. It's the Jim and Dave's uh, beer, review. beer review. What was that other part you put in? The test kitchen? Yeah, what was that? Well, I just thought so much when I said the hello, friends. I sound so much like Glenn from Glenn and Friends cooking show on YouTube. I don't YouTube. know what that is. Oh, it's this guy in Canada and he has good video clips. So our viewers know who that is, right? No, no, this is like an obscure reference in oh. order to see if there's anyone in the... They're now going, what the hell is going on? You know? Yes, I'm sure that's exactly it. what they were doing. Exactly. He just said something. He said, Jim's Test Kitchen. What's that all about? Exactly. Like, boy, it really derailed you. I almost feel like we should start <laughs> over now. <laughs> Are you okay, Dave? Do you need a minute? You Ow. said something. You did an obscure you... reference that I didn't know. Ow. How dare you? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Anyway, it's the Jim and Dave's beer, beer review. review. Right. That'll be our good point. <laughs> All right, Dave, what's on top of this beer review? Is it like it's, a, it's, a this is a pizza. A pizza. A pizza from Aslan Beer Company. This is a fruited sour with a 6% ABV. Now, that's a slice. It says um, sour ale brew with watermelon, raspberry, blackberry, mint, toasted coconut, and milk sugar. Ooh. Ooh. What else does it say down it there? It is brewed and canned by Asland Beer Company in Alexandria, Virginia. Um, Herdon, Virginia. Herdon. Pittsburgh, PA. This, this should be stored at 35 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep it cold. Drink it fresh. Don't age this beer is what that says. You know why? It's because they worry it's going to become a bomb, probably. Because it can't be fully fermented. Oh, there we go. All right, didn't blow up. That's good. I've had fruit and sours uh, blow up on me before. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look like a beer at all. This is a sour, not a beer. This is a sour ale. This is Pretty sure it said sour oh, ale. Right. What you were Keep saying. on pouring, Jim. Yeah, that's it. Keep on going. Yeah, give me give me more than you. Can we switch glasses? Yes. No. Damn okay. it. What are you what, doing? What you ask for? <sighs> all righty. 6% ABV. It's a sour ale. It's an ale. You know, you know when, when people, like, try out wine, they usually put a little bit in the bottom of the sniff, they go... And they'll pour a whole bunch in there first. <laughs> and they just don't know if they like it or not. That's because they're amateurs. And you should know. I know how to taste. I'm not a sour guy, so he puts all this in here for me. Ugh, it smells like cookie. <sighs> oh, no, it doesn't. It smells like. Uh, this is like water, coconut. Coconut. Uh, sourness, tartness. All right, let's just do this quickly before I lose oh, my nerve. Sweetness. All right, cheers. <sighs> Not much of a head on this, by the way. And it's kind of a reddish color. There we go. Uh, no. <laughs> wow, we got the whole Dave story over there. Dude, I've never had a show by myself with any of you. Mmm. <laughs> Fruity. <laughs> you sound like a dog. <laughs> What breed would that be? <laughs> That's just a, a YouTube thing I watch with these corgis. Oh, you're making an obscure <laughs> reference. Oh, I saw a YouTube thing with corgis. Dave, how do you know our audience has ever seen anything like that? They should. <laughs> oh, they do. And they're talking about this. Yeah, That's funny. <laughs> what goes around comes around. Ow. <laughs> Getting back to the beer. Ow. Ah, God damn it. Yeah. <sighs> Yes. Did you want to know my opinion on this, or do you want to give yours first? Oh, I'd be happy to go first. Go ahead. I need another sip. Okay. I'm going to give this 6.5 out of 10. It's um, it's fun. The tanginess is really weird. I think if they hadn't put any milk sugar to sweeten this, this would have been way, 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 way too tart. But it would be extra sour, put it that way. This is mildly tart. I can handle this. Um, coconut, sure. I think that's a predominant one, actually. Nothing else jumps to mind, even that whole list over there. It's raspberry, okay. Watermelon, all right. I can kind of see the watermelon. That's a big part of it. I have the raspberry but and the watermelon. It, it just mixed together so well. It's, it's the really sourness. Hard to get those individual components out. <sighs> it's sour, okay. What else do you want to say about it? What's your number, Dave? It's hard to give us a number because I don't consider this beer. All right, on your it's not a beer, but technically an ale category. What would it be? <laughs> yeah, somewhere around about a six, I guess. Okay, well, that's not bad for you. No, because I mean, I mean, the, the 
the the the the ripeness of the the watermelon and the raspberry i think are what makes it come to me and make me feel like wanting to drink more instead of drinking less i get that absolutely but when i have the the sourness and i'm making these weird facial expressions i don't like that part well i actually thought that was good for the video okay i see you in the convulsions <laughs> and that hurt my back because i was like ow it hurts Ooh, that's not good I was watching an Anthony Bourdain show called No Reservations, oh. and uh, he was like in Russia back before, you know, and he was in this like steam house for like hours, and then there was tradition to go out and jump in the ice, and he did it. Somebody reviewed this thing already. And I've had it before. I was there. I was at the brewery. And what'd you give it this time? This time I gave it 6.5 out of 10, so it's a couple weeks old. He gave it a 6.5 last time, too. Oh, well, hey, at least I'm consistent. It holds up. Mm. The fish had no problem. Perfect for summertime and maybe even autumn. Nice break from all the pumpkin pushing that people do. Pumpkin pushing. And uh, yeah, it's just Pusher. Uh, it's got a really interesting aftertaste. I guess that's the watermelon. It's almost like an hour later. An hour later. It tastes like a watermelon an hour later. An hour later with a bit of a uh, what do you call those things? Twang. Out, um, um, okay. um, um, starburst. Okay, I can see that. So starburst. Yes. Absolutely, which is kind of fun. Mm. They still make now or later? Yeah, they do. They make Starburst still, too. Okay, cool. I guess they're the Square Candy Company. So there you have it. 6.5 yeah. out of 10 exactly. from Jim. 6 out of 10 from Dave. I just went to the dance bag. No, going to the dance is good. No, it's him telling me, oh, you need to do this, that, and the other thing's going. Here, come four times a year instead of twice a year. I'm like, I can't do that. Do it three times. Can't do that. Don't have the money for that. It's worth it not to mm -hmm. have... I start doing it three or four times a year, and I'm just. I like, start using I a water pick. Haven't had a problem. Using since. a water pick. I do have one. Yeah. Do you use it? It's been a couple months. You're supposed to use it every day. You brush your teeth twice a day, and don't. Forget. I brush my teeth after every meal before bed, and when I wake up sometimes. Mm, I don't brush my teeth, but I used to do only one. Rinse with Listerine. I do Listerine. And after too. lunch, I will also rinse with fluoride rinse. Mm. Listerine is for is it? No. no. It's germ that kills germs that mm. cause black. Okay. Well, I try to be better now because I don't want to lose my teeth. Yep. I have some bone loss, so it's not a good thing. Yeah, but definitely good. Hey, you youngsters, make sure you brush your teeth. Anyway. I'm telling you, when you get to be 57, you're going, you know what? I'm like, I know, I know. I messed myself up. It's my fault. Tell me how I can help myself now, please. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I'm totally there with you. Mm. Right. Right. So. Right. 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 Like 6.5 out of 10 from Jim. Six. Six from Dave. Right. We're so glad you could join us, friends. And I just want to say that women who are pregnant should not drink alcoholic beverages due to the risk of birth defects. I'm trying to figure out birth what the sign language would be for what I'm saying. I shouldn't do that. Birth defects. Uh, you shouldn't operate heavy machinery or drive a vehicle if you're under the influence of alcohol. Right. Or any kind of heavy machinery, when you think about it. You don't want to get on a go-kart either, man. If you drink too much like every day, it can cause health You problems. go underneath their car, and, and they could, like, run you over, and, and then their car could smash into something and then kill somebody else. It's not a good thing. Well, I'm so glad we're ending the video on a high note. <laughs> How about this? Peace and love. Peace and love. We love you all. Long For all time. those people who are commenting, I will no longer be sending out your free gift certificate to Gym Fest 2024. Right. Gym fest. Anything that's sent after today will be tossed. Sorry. Another tangent with something that you all know about. Oh my God. Sorry. Really? Sorry to end the way we started. So. I thought that was the you and all that porn. Subscribe stuff. to our channel. <laughs> <laughs> that was one time I did that. Ah, funny. That was where the green in my bedroom came in handy. I could do a green screen. Mm -hmm. It's built in. Ooh, yeah, I probably should have said that while we're filming. Are we still on? I guess so. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Give us a thumbs up, thumb, thumbs down, comment below. Hit that, if you hit the like button, but also hit the copy link button. If you share it, that would be nice. But, you know, copy link is almost as good. Send us money. <laughs> Don't be nice. I'm not necessarily against that. Just said uh, to small denominations, your choices to jimfb66 at gmail.com. There it is. Yes, that's, that's, that's what you got to do. Thank you. We love you guys, man. Thank you for watching us. All five of you. More than that. Six.
We got two digits at least. 14. Nope, there's more. Uh, See ya, buddy.